Dear friends, our book for today is Inside the Haveli. Inside the Haveli is a novel written by Rama Mehta. For this uh, particular novel, Rama Mehta was uh, conferred a uh, Sahitya Academy Award in 1979. The story of the novel revolves around a young girl uh, from Mumbai. Uh, she gets married to the son of a former Indian prince and uh, post marriage she relocate, relocates to Udaipur uh, in Rajasthan. This book uh, was first published by Gulab uh, Vazirani in 1977. The initial price of this book at the time of uh, publication was only rupees 40. The book completes in about 264 pages. But before I move ahead, let me tell you a few things uh, about uh, this uh, renowned author Rama Mehta. Rama Mehta was born in Nainital, India in 1923. She rose to uh, become a top uh, sociologist, lecturer and even a novelist and her uh, non-fiction writings include The Western Educated Hindu Woman, The Hindu Divorced Woman and From Parda to Modernity. One of the first women to be appointed to India's uh, Foreign Service, Rama Mehta, was uh, forced to resign uh, from her position upon marriage. She died in 1978. The novel has uh, received uh, several uh, compliments. Some are as follows. A wonderfully interesting account. Women should not miss it, neither should men, said John Kenneth uh, Galbraith. Canadian born economist, public official, and a diplomat. Says uh, novelist uh, Anita Desai, I remember the surprised uh, delight with which I first came across uh, Rama Mehta's novel and encountered the freshness of her prose, the simplicity and uh, tenderness of uh, her evocation, and an ancient and uh, traditional way of life and the understanding she brought to it. Throughout her life, the principal theme of uh, Rao Mehta's writings was uh, the position of women in uh, tradition-bound but rapidly changing India. For in addition to her uh, three novels, she wrote a number of uh, sociological books about the contemporary Indian women, uh, woman, including the Western educated Hindu woman and the Hindu divorced uh, woman. And just before she died in uh, June uh, 1978, Mehta uh, completed a study of women in the Hindu uh, nuclear family. It is therefore appropriate that her last novel, Inside the Haveli, uh, should have won, uh, though posthumously, that year's uh, Sahitya Academy Award for the best uh, Indian novel in English. In a sense, uh, it is a modern uh, classic about an independent young woman's uh, struggle to hold on to her identity in a traditional world. Book uh, No Way has a very engrossing uh, storyline. Uh, as mentioned earlier, it is about Gita, an uh, educated and vivacious Bombay girl who marries into a very conservative family and abruptly finds herself uh, living in Parda in her husband's ancestral Haveli in, at Udaipur. At Udaipur, I'm sorry. Uh, faced with uh, this and even uh, certain other age old uh, traditions that uh, threaten to snuff out her independence and uh, progressive uh, views, Gita puts up an unnoticed uh, fight uh, to maintain her modernity that she has always lived by. Uh, in the book, she puts up a very, very unnoticed uh, in the sense that it's a very quiet kind of a fight and uh, uh, you can't really discern whether she's, uh, it's very nicely written, you can't discern whether she's uh, getting aggressive or she's taking it on to herself. It is always tough for an author to churn out a novel uh, without a piercing uh, storyline, uh, which uh, Rama Mehta has done quite uh, successfully. She has detailed it 
so very well that one gets to feel as if she was part of the family and has uh, lived with them for a duration of time only to write this novel some other important characters uh, apart from geeta in the novel are ajay singh uh, who happens to be the husband of geeta pari an old maid lakshmi another maid uh, vijay uh, happens to be geeta's daughter sita is lakshmi's daughter the novel depicts the beginnings of a social change in the life of women from uh, mewar who continued until the 20th century to practice the system of parda long after hindu women had discarded it as an outmoded custom it gives a detailed account of uh, uh, old udaipur uh, something like you know uh, they eat in uh, silver thalis in that manner inside the haveli is an excellent novel about a, a young college educated girl of bombay who marries the son of an ex prime minister of the former princely state of mewar and comes to her husband's traditional haveli in udaipur the moment she steps out of the train geeta the main protagonist gets the biggest shock of her life for not only is her face instantaneously covered by her women relatives and maid servants who take complete charge of her but she also uh, immediately finds herself engulfed in a pattern of life which is totally alien uh, to her modern upbringing in bombay as soon as she reaches home she is further shocked by the realization that the men and women uh, live in different uh, parts of the huge haveli without any contact with each other indeed life inside the haveli is uh, governed by an impossibly uh, rigid etiquette of do's and don'ts and for her as for all other women there is no life outside the high walls of the haveli the youthful geeta finds herself uh, unable to reconcile with the idea of uh, spending the rest of her life in parda but at the same time she sees no escape from this outdated way of life for her husband is too deeply rooted in his uh, traditions and too deeply attached to his parents to take up a job uh, some uh, in some other city moreover uh, she gradually comes to realize that in spite of their uh, exacting demands of uh, conformity with the family tradition her parents in laws uh, are essentially warm hearted uh, and generous people slowly and painfully geeta finds herself adjusting uh, with the life in the haveli uh, with the thought of merging her identity and that of her children in the tradition of her husband's uh, ancient uh, family but in the process uh, she succeeds in uh, initiating certain reforms for the women of uh, these ancient havelis by starting some literary uh, or literacy classes for them and by sending the female children to school her uh, woman relatives of course oppose her plans but her father in law realizing that with the end of the princely era the old pattern of life could not possibly continue uh, for long supports uh, geeta's uh, attempt to make the women uh, less uh, dependent on the havelis it is a fascinating novel in which the author has succeeded in conveying the essence and feel of a world which is uh, fast uh, uh, disappearing rather i would say i'm telling the story after a long while this book was written in 70 the, the this uh, old era has uh, almost uh, disappeared it's totally disappeared i would say jeevan nivas is the center stage around which the entire clan for ruling class uh, ranas uh, stay traditionally these families have also served the maharana of udaipur uh, who was like god to them they all seem to be together but yes there are internal rivalries and conflicts uh, too a change of mindset is in the offing when geeta is blessed with a daughter and celebrations break through uh, that too on in a daughter when a daughter is born 
Lakshmi, the maid, leaves the Haveli and some uh, with some misunderstanding. Thereafter, her daughter Sita is brought up by Bhagwat Singh Ji's wife, who happens to be Gita's uh, mother-in-law. There is almost a chapter on young Sita's wedding, who is uh, the daughter of Lakshmi. The scene is very emotional and uh, very well described. Uh, it gives a vivid description of such uh, marriages. Author has crafted some uh, original uh, and interesting words too, such as uh, twig fire lit in a earthenware pot. Then you have butter lamp and also uh, fire hot rotis to name a few. Before I close this program, I would like to tell you that uh, uh, the author has taken a lot of effort in uh, writing this uh, particular uh, novel and uh, that is one reason I would not uh, like to uh, bring the end of the book to you uh, which you will uh, which if you are interested you should read it and find it out for yourself overall it's a very slow moving book I would say but uh, well detailed with uh, precise punctuation and simple language easy to understand the book doesn't sink in uh, you unless you complete it in five to six uh, attempts nor does it have any recall quotient barring a peep uh, into the Haveli uh, because uh, it, the story does not have um, a very piercing it, or rather I would say the, it does not have a piercing uh, storyline the storyline is extremely faint you have a lot of activity in this book a lot of characters and um, it's very difficult to remember even the names of the character and uh, but yes uh, once you finish the book um, you'll find that after a, after a while it uh, probably will not make any impact except for one single impact that oh you've read about uh, the Havelis of Udaipur you can pick up this book to understand what really goes on uh, inside a Haveli I would give the book uh, 8 out of 10 even when I did not like it so much uh, because it meets the purpose uh, for which it was uh, written. Uh, so friends that's all I have uh, for today. Goodbye and see you soon.